In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let's acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. All together. I confess to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and, and you, my, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the, the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Prompt our actions with your inspiration, we pray, O Lord, and further them with your constant help, that all we do may always begin from you, and by you be brought to completion, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Today I have set before you life and prosperity, death and doom. If you obey the commandments of the Lord your God, which I enjoin you on you today, loving Him and walking in His ways and keeping His commandments, statutes and decrees, you will live and grow numerous, and the Lord your God will bless you in the land you are entering to occupy. If, however, you turn away your hearts and will not listen, but you led astray and adore and serve other gods, I tell you now that you will certainly perish. You will not have a long life on the land that you are crossing the Jordan to enter and occupy. I call heaven and earth today to witness against you I have set before you life and death, the blessing and the curse. Choose life then, that you and your descendants may live by loving the Lord your God, heeding his voice and holding fast to him. For that will mean life for you, a long life for you to live on the land that the Lord swore he would give to your fathers Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Blessed are they who hope 
in the Lord. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does, prosper. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Let us all stand. Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, The Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed on the third day, and the third day be raised. Then he said to all, if anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. What profit is there for one to gain the whole world, yet lose or forfeit himself? Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. At welcome po sa parish at national shrine ni Santo Padre Pio dito po sa Santo Tomas. Follow the leader. Ito pong mga salitang itong follow the leader Ito yung binibigan sa atin kapag merong team building sa isang company. At ito rin yung sinasabi kapag merong activity ang scouting ng mga Boy Scout. Follow the leader. At sa ating pong ibanghelyo ngayon, yan din po yung panawagan ng Diyos ni Jesus sa kanyang mga lagad. At sino mang tao na gustong sumunod sa Kanya. At ang sabi dito, If anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. Kung sa diyang gusto nating sumunod sa ating leader kay Jesus, ay may kondisyones. Una ay itakwil ang sarili, ikalawa ay pasanin ang krus at sumunod sa Kanya. Bakit kaya po ganito yung hanay ng ating Ibanghelyo ngayon? Sapagat kahapon po ay pinagdiwang natin yung Ash Wednesday. Kahapon ay nag-start tayo ng reflections about Lent about reconciliation, about holiness. At sa araw na ito ay 
Ito yung paanya ni Jesus na sundan natin siya sa kanyang journey ngayong panahon ng Kwaresma na sa pagsunod natin sa kanya ay sadyang hindi madali sapagkat hinihingi sa atin gaya nga ng aking nasabi itakwil ang sarili at buhatin ng krus araw-araw. Alam po ninyo mga minamahal ng mga kapatid, kung kailan tayo nagpapakabait <laughs> at kung kailan tayo naghahangad na sumunod sa Diyos, sadyang doon naman napakarami ng temptations galing sa Jablo. Lahat ng ano mang gagawin natin mabuti, lahat ng pagpakabuti, no? kapag unti-unti natin binabagtas yung pagsunod kay Jesus, sadyang napakarami ng tukso. Kaya nga, yung isang magandang palaala ni Jesus, deny yourself, reject yourselves. No? Kinakalangan natin magkaroon ng pagtanggi sa mga bagay-bagay na nagpapasaya sa atin o nagbibigay lugod pero nagdadala naman po sa atin sa kasalanan. Carry your cross daily. Araw-araw, sadyang meron tayong cross. May malaki, may maliit. May mabigat, medyo magaan. Pero ang hamon ni Jesus, pasanin mo yan araw-araw. Mabigat man yan o magaan, pasanin mo yan sapagkat kung sadyang gusto mo akong sundan, bibitbitin mo at papasanin mo ang iyong krus sa buhay. My dear brothers and sisters, dadalawang araw pa lamang po ngayon, nakakalipas. Meron pa tayong sa out of 40 days within sa panahon ng Kwaresma ay maraming okasyon at imbitasyon ng Diyos para tayo maging banal, para tayo ay mapagtagumpayan natin yung ating mga kahinaan, lalo tigit ang ating kasalanan. Sana po no, sa ating paglalakbay o journey sa panahon ng Kwaresma ay taus puso at merong pagmamahal nating bubuhatin ang lahat ng cross sa ating buhay. For your offerings in the envelope, you may drop them at the collection baskets. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Regard with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings we set upon the sacred altar, that bestowing on us your pardon, our oblations may give honor to your name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Please remain standing with reverence. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Gilbert, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we marry to be cohorts to eternal life and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let 
let us all stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Those who cannot kneel, please remain standing with reverence. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The second collection, which will be done, 
is for the continuing development of the parish and national shrine of St. Father Pio and for the needs and welfare of the sick and retired priests of the Archdiocese of Lipa. Thank you for your offering. Sa paginom ng sinuman sa tubig na aking bigay di na muli mauuhaw pagkat ito ay bubukal sa buhay na walang hanggang Please all stand. Let us pray. Having received the blessing of our heavenly gifts, we humbly beseech you, Almighty God, that we may always be for us a source both of pardon and salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for intercession to Saint Father Pio. All together, Father Pio, holy monk from Pietralcina, outstanding, outstanding saint, saint of the present Pio. era, our bright beacon on this earthly pilgrimage, our sanctuary in times of trouble, holy exemplar of great courage, with you our needs do we confide, as well as our livelihood, our health, and our might. Unworthy as we are, we pray that you concede, bless and grace us that our lives may be fulfilled. From sin may we abstain, in God may we remain. We also beseech thee, servant of the Most Holy, to instruct us in the Gospel, that we may reflect and believe. Our requests are before thee, our hearts repent, resolving earnestly to not sin again, to always follow God the Father, together with the Spirit and Jesus the Mediator. Amen. Please be seated for some announcements. Una, sa inyong pagdalaw sa pambansan dambana, mangyaring pakaingatan ang inyong mga personal na gamit. Hangad namin ang isang matiwasay at maayos na pagbisita sa National Shrine. Ikalawa, mga kapiyo, kami po ay humihingi na inyong kaunting oras at pakikiisa para sa pagsusulat ng inyong mga pangalan at ilang detalye sa ating Pilgrim's Information Record Books na makikita sa paligid ng ating mga simbahan. Ito po ay bahagi ng Documentation Program para sa pagpapalawig ng mga datos at turismong pangsimbahan at bilang alaala din ng inyong pagbisita sa Pambansan Dambana. Para po sa ating mga balikbayan, OFW at mga kasama niyong foreigners, doon po kayo magsusulat sa International Pilgrims Record Book. Gagabayan po kayo ng ating mga tagapaglingkod. Ikatlo, pagsisik sakripisyo ngayong panahon ng kwaresma, tayo po ay mayroong pagdarasal ng istasyon ng Cruz tuwing araw ng biyernes sa ganap na ikatlo ng hapon. Ang aklat dasalan po ay available sa ating mga tindahan. Gayon din naman, tayo po ay inaanyayahang mangumpisal sa panahong ito. Lumapit lamang po kayo sa ating mga pari pagkatapos ng banal na misa. Maraming salamat po at mangyaring panatilihin natin ang kalinisan Katahimikan at diwa ng pananalangin sa loob at labas ng ating mga simbahan. Magsitayo na po ang lahat para sa pagbabasbas ng religious articles. Ati pong lalabas ang ating mga rosar at mga dasalan na nais po nating pabasbasan. Mga kapatid, 
Manalangin tayo sa Diyos sa mga makapangirihan upang tayo ay maging kawangis ni Kristo sa timtim na pagdalangin sa tulong ng mga larawan at dasalan. O Panginoon Diyos, Ikaw ang bukal ng lahat ng pagpapal at bihaya. Ibuus mo ang iyong bendisyon sa mga gamit na ito sa pananalangin na nagpapalaala ng iyong kabutihan, kabanalan, pagmamahal sa amin upang ang lahat ng dumulog at pagkasal gamit ang mga ito ay magtamo ng iyong awa at biyaya. Loobin mong tularan nila ang kabanalan at aral ng Panginoon at mga santo magpa sa walang hanggan. Amen. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is offered. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Tayong lahat ay may pananagutan sa isa't isa. Tayong lahat ay tinipo ng Diyos na kapiling niya. <laughs> 